Good morning viewers. Welcome to Konsima short hand classes. Get ready. 5 seconds. The deputy speaker said the address of the governor has received praise from the government benches and criticism from the opposition benches. I would like to make a few observations on the address. We expected that in the address there would be a mention of the policy and program of work which the government proposed to carry out during the ensuing year. I am sorry that the address is silent on the matter. However, there is one thing which is interesting and that is the desire on the part of the ministers to get useful suggestions from honorable members of this house. I find that since yesterday members have been making useful suggestions, but I do not know if the honorable ministers concerned are present here to take note of the suggestions, perhaps with the exception of a few like the Minister for Local Administration and the Finance Minister. I know the Finance Minister is present for the purpose of taking notes so that he may be able to answer any criticisms that may be made against the government. But he may not be taking note of the suggestions made by the honorable members for implementation at a later stage. There are two words in the governor's address, namely welfare administration. Welfare administration means the existence of a welfare state. It is the desire of everyone that a democratic welfare state should be established. It means that there will be peace in plenty, that there will be no unemployment, that illiteracy will be eradicated, that the government will take care of the world and the infirm and that the amenities which are now enjoyed by only a few rich people will be made available even to the common man. I think that is the ideal for which we are now striving. The question now arises as to what steps the government have taken to establish a welfare state. A reference has been made in the address to the community projects and national extension service. In this connection, I would submit that the result of these schemes depends largely on the capacity of the people to contribute to the works which are undertaken by the government. If we go into this matter, we will find that the capacity of the common man in this regard is nil. So, if we are asked whether the schemes have been a success with reference to the common man, we can only say no. It is said that the advantage that may be gained by these schemes goes only to the richer classes of people and that the common man is not able to get anything because he is not in a position to contribute money to the carrying out of the work under these schemes. Then I would suggest that the salvation of our country lies in the formation of cooperative unit. As we know, the majority of the people belong to the poor classes. So, it is these people who must be helped by the government by starting cooperative farms and the persons must be made to realize that they have got a share in these farms. It is only then that the interests of the poor persons will be safeguarded. In this respect, we expect that the government will bring in agrarian reforms. But no mention is made in the address about the agrarian reforms. There is a large disparity between the salary of government servants 
and the salary of those in the private sector if we pay our government servants low salaries we cannot expect them to be honest in their work a letter from the journal manager new india insurance company kolkata to thiru subramanyam kolkata dear sir we are in receipt of your letter of the 10th instant we are sorry to learn that you find it difficult to continue your existing policy with us and so desire to surrender it the surrender value of your policy at present comes to 9000 only but we would like to point out that the surrender of a policy is not in the interest of a policy holder as you will find from the figure quoted the policy holder will get less than what he paid and what is more he deprives his dependents of the provision he made for them of course he may think of buying another policy when his difficulties are over but apart from the increased rate of premium that it would involve it cannot be known whether he will then be found medically fit that is why we try to discourage it we think that your difficulties are merely of a temporary nature you are entitled to a loan of 80% of the surrender value so we suggest that you may keep the policy in force taking advantage of a loan from the company if you decide upon the course that we have suggested above you may complete the enclosed loan application form and send it along with your policy to us it was faithfully